And unless the global community comes together to address this challenge, the dramatic climate impacts that we're seeing in this part of the world will be a harbinger for every part of the world. And we as leaders of countries will begin to witness what we call climate refugees moving. You think migration is a challenge to Europe today because of extremism? Wait till you see what happens when there's an absence of water, an absence of food, or one tribe fighting against another for mere survival. That is Secretary of State John Kerry addressing climate change as the administration in Alaska today addressing which may be what may be a very big problem for that state. Dave Malkoff spent some time in one of those high risk communities this weekend. His story coming up in just a few minutes right here on Weather Underground. Joined right now though by uh, Sarah, by Carl, by also Bernadette Woods, Plackey, Chief Meteorologist at Climate Central and the Director of Climate Matters Program uh, joining us from Princeton. Uh, Bernadette, glad you could be with us. The secretary there saying the global community has to come together to address climate change. How, easier said than done. How do we do that? We're trying. I mean, there's really no simple answer to it, uh, or it would probably be done at this point. There is a disconnect in some of the information that goes out to the public in these political circles that we're seeing, but in the scientific community, there really is no disconnect. And that's the information we're trying to get out to the public, that the overwhelming majority of scientists, 97% of them, believe, well, I shouldn't even use that word because we really don't want to go into that category, but have proven and are working in the space where climate change is happening, it's real, it's happening right now, and it is a serious issue that we need to deal with, and it's being caused by human beings. And Bernadette, this is Sarah. So, you know, we've, we've talked about this very issue at broadcast conferences with the American Meteorological Society about how we try to, we try to communicate to the people the impacts that they're going to be seeing that we're already seeing. I feel like people think that climate is some intangible thing that, you know, for generations we're not going to have to deal with, but we kind of have to deal with it now. We've already seen changes, and that's something that you guys at Climate Central have really focused on with the graphics that you guys uh, put out to us that we communicate to the public to try to get them to make changes now. Well, that's the thing. Climate is the long term. So it's sometimes hard to put a face to that. That is what the president is trying to do and what many people in this space are trying to do. And the place to really see that change is the Arctic and Alaska. It really is the frontier of so many issues going on with climate change right now. Some of these other issues are the long term trends. So it may not be as visible and in your face as you would see with a hurricane or a tornado. So it takes a little more nuance to really get that message out there. Carl, why? <laughs> why is this such a political hot button issue? It just seems like the science is so clear. Why can't the two, why can't science and policy get together? Well, you know, one of the things is that when we talk about this 97%, people say, well, maybe it's not really 97%. And in fact, we just heard this a couple of days ago from Senator Rick Santorum. His quote was this, uh, that 97% figure that's thrown around, it's based on a survey of 77 scientists responding to that survey. Well, that's not untrue, but that's based on a 2009 survey. There's been a more recent one that looked at 11,944 papers, and looking at the papers that endorse climate change, that was a 97% figure. 4,000 papers endorsed climate change. In that 97% survey. would be an A in most yes. all classrooms, yeah. Carl. Right. Thank you. Bernadette, always good to talk to you. We're going to have to leave it at that, but always appreciate your insight. Thank you very much, Bernadette. Thanks We're for having me, guys. Us from good luck climate to Thank you Thank very you. much. We're going to have you on regularly, hopefully. Um, guys, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Hey, coming up next on Weather Underground, we take you to a remote village in Alaska where they say climate change isn't a debate, it's a way of life and a way of life that is changing dramatically. Could we be looking at the first refugees in America of climate change? Well, sir, 